All right, welcome back. It's that time. It's a, a sore subject we're going to be covering here. Herpes. Herpes is obnoxious, all right? They never go away. They just keep coming back. And man, are they painful. I mean, I, I, my, my friend told me that they just, like, are killer. All right. Um, anyway, our protagonist for this sketch is going to be Hermes, the ancient Greek messenger god. His name has an uncanny resemblance to herpes. Whenever you hear herpes, it should be easy for you to think of your new friend, Hermes. All right, I'd like to start by helping you get to know what kind of dude Hermes is. He's a DNA virus, as you can see by the blue, cold tones of the background. And herpes simplex is a member of the larger herpes virus family. Remember not to confuse the two. The herpes viruses are a family of several viruses, but here we're just talking about specifically herpes simplex virus. Like the other herpes viruses, herpes simplex is enveloped, which we've represented by this velvety little robe he's wearing. Like most other DNA viruses, he replicates in the nucleus, and uh, he's also double-stranded and linear, which is illustrated by the road lines below him. See, there are two straight lines on the road for double-stranded and linear. So this is kind of a boring outfit, so let's spice it up a bit. We're giving him a dry cowhide, representative of cowdry bodies. These are host cells that have these big, red, eosinophilic, intranuclear inclusion bodies that look like targets. And you can see these in other herpes viruses as well, such as CMV or VZV. However, remember that the cowdry bodies are intranuclear versus pox virus, which have similar inclusion bodies, but they're in the cytoplasm. So now, how is the virus transmitted? Uh, herpes simplex has three slippery modes of transmission. Uh, two of them are obvious, sex and saliva, but herpes is also famous for being vertically transmitted, i.e. as a torch infection. See this torch we're drawing here in his outstretched hand? This is a recurring symbol for most of our torch infections, and it's very important to remember herpes as one of the H's. And now he looks like a true Olympian.